Hi, everyone. I'm Mac Ash with SoundersFC.com. Alongside the voice of the Sounders, Arlo White. The regular season has now come to a close. Sounders lose today 2-1 to the Houston Dynamo. And mm -hmm. Hard to talk about this game without talking about Steve Zakawani's yellow card, right? Well, I just found it an astonishing decision, really. Or, well, it was a decision to give him a yellow card, wasn't it? For me, it, it was clearly apparent straight away. Bad back pass by uh, a Houston midfielder, I think. It went all the way through. Zakawani intercepted it, took it around Derek, who clearly... Uh, made contact with, with Zakawani, who went to ground. Now, initially on the call, I'm thinking, well, he's got to go. Not only is it a penalty, they're going to be down to 10 men because Derek's going to get red carded here. Now, I've watched further replays, and perhaps Zakawani's touch was a little heavy, and perhaps there was a defender coming back, so perhaps it wasn't a clear-cut goal-scoring opportunity. But the fact remains, it's a penalty kick every day of the week and twice on Tuesdays. You know, it's, that was a ludicrous miss, I think, by, by Kevin Stott. But there you go. That's, that's, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Um, maybe he missed a Jeff Park handball slightly before that, so maybe the Sounders got away with one as well. But that, that for me, was the, the key moment of the match because the Sounders had a penalty. Sturgis was very good with his penalty against Columbus, so maybe you go 2-1 up. And a team that's fighting to stay out of the basement of the, of the Western Conference, do they have the fight to come back uh, again? They came out with some fight in this game. They did in the second half, and I thought Cam Weaver played very well, actually. I haven't seen a great deal of him play, but um, they, that was the first time that Houston managed to win two straight all season, and they, and they did it in the 30th game of the season. So good for them. You know, they, they, they don't, they're a proud club. They don't finish bottom of the Western Conference. That's Chivas USA. We know that. It's the first time that Houston have missed out on the playoffs since moving here from San Jose in 2006. So they'll be back. Um, they had a lot of upheaval in the last offseason, um, so look to, for them to come back strongly next year. I got a feeling this is going to be a, a confident group going into that, despite the loss today. Oh, definitely. Um, and I think Ziggy was unhappy with the, with the work rate in the second half. But it's going to go down to the second day. We have opened ourselves up to the possibility of the Eastern Conference. We could have sealed our fate and known right now it was LA or, or Rail Salt Lake. But hey, if you have to go to Columbus, you know, they do concern me a little bit because they owe us one, really, for, for the amount of times of big games that we've beaten them in, but uh, particularly recently. Um, but they're not on very good form. So is it anticlimactic to play Columbus next Sunday? Possibly, but it's still a massive occasion. And it puts the Sounders on a collision course with perhaps New York in the, in the Eastern Conference final at Red Bull Arena, Thierry Henry et al. But we'll see how it unfolds over the, over the weekend. It's going to be fascinating to see how the, how the cards fall. And then once we know, close of play tomorrow night, Sunday night, then we can start preparing for next Sunday, Halloween, 5 o'clock, against an uh, against opponent that, that will then be known. And then we can really start getting excited. Already 30,000 sold and we don't even know who we're playing yet. That's, that says a lot about the fan base. Well, absolutely. It is astonishing. And it's still possible that, uh, that we play LA in the Western Conference um, uh, semi-final. So, you know, it's still part of me that, that wants to see Donovan and Beckham and, and Buddle in a big game at Quest Field. So I think the message to fans is get the tickets in while you can, because as of yesterday, there are only about 6,000 left of the initial match. So, you know, don't be disappointed. Get on soundersfc.com. Or 877 MLS Goal. How well trained am I? <laughs> there you go. The tickets are still available. SoundersFC.com, 877 MLS goal. You don't want to miss this. For, for Arlo White, I'm Matt Gash. This has been your review. Casey, what are you doing out here, buddy? Practice is over. I'm just grabbing some rays so I don't burn when we take that sweet Mexican Riviera cruise in January. Oh, you're right, man. I can't wait to hang out with the fans. Check out Cabo, Mazatlan, and do some cool Holland America excursion. Exactly. So grab a chair, grab some rays with me. Towels up, Sounders fans. Towels up.